Hello, I'm Sam Horn, and welcome to this week's issue of the Better Newsletter. Our aha is from Ralph Nader, who said, your best teacher is your last mistake. Our anecdote is when I worked for Rod Laver years ago on Hilton Head Island. We had just finished one of our national tennis camps, and so Rocket asked if I'd like to hit for a bit as a way of rewarding me for my hard work. Would I like to hit? I think so. Well, he made me work for it. He's running me to the right, he's running me to the left, and he finally throws up a weak lob, probably intentionally. All I have to do is put this overhead away, and I get to take a point off Rocket. Well, in my eagerness, I commit a cardinal sin. Instead of keeping my mind on the ball, I put my mind and eyes where I wanted to put the ball. Well, I didn't just miss hit it, I missed it. I took a mighty whiff and missed the whole thing, and I erupted. I should have kept my eyes on the ball. I know better than this. What a stupid mistake. Now, Rocket's known for sportsmanship, and he kind of waited for me to calm down, and he beckoned me over, and he said, Sam, champions never use the word should. The moment they make a mistake, they're already thinking about how to do it right next time. What wonderful advice. When someone makes a mistake, let's get rid of that word should, because the word should usually pertains to the past, and do you know anyone who can undo the past? The word should shames behavior. So use next time from now on in the future so we're shaping behavior and being a coach instead of a critic. If you'd like an infographic with these words to lose, words to use when people make mistakes, check out our newsletter at my website, samhorn.com.